Good morning. It's ten past seven on a gloriously bright and sunny Sunday morning, and I'm going to try today's New York Times crossword. I've not done one of these since Thursday, so I may be a little out of practice. I have no idea what to expect, and as always, this is a one-taker, so I apologize in advance for any mistakes or errors or strange sounds or interruptions or anything like that. It's going to go up with minimal editing, just audio and trimming the start and the end. Well, as it's probably going to take over an hour as it is, let's get started. Uh, today's puzzle, the title is The Call of the Race by Samuel A. Donaldson. The Call of the Race. Okay, so that's usually a clue to the theme and sometimes can get as close to what it might be, uh, what might be involved. But The Call of the Race, I don't know what that might be referring to. Um, okay, let's take a look at the uh, the long theme clues. It looks as though they're all italicized in the list today. Um, so let's take a look. And they're off. Ace Detective has the blank. It looks as though we've got a horse race uh, commentary themed puzzle here. Looks like setting sun is something. It's pariah something. These are probably going to be puns, these answers. Uh, chiropractor heads into the something. Here's where Mississippi Delta often. So I guess I guess what we what we are gonna fill all these theme clue answers with um, will be um, like uh, stock phrases and cliches that you would hear in a um, in in a horse race. But the names of the horses that we're uh, that uh, are, are in the clues as there's going to be some pun or wordplay involved um, relating those names to the answers. Now Carrier Pigeon takes the something. But wait, Amex card something. Almost there and E Pluribus Omnum will be something. But the winner is Inseam something. Okay. I have no idea. Okay, let's go through and see. Ah, I'll, I'll do the downs first. Um, Okay, uh, let's. I'm just going to skim through quickly and get uh, the ones that, that jump out as, uh, um, as as ones that I know. Dirty Harry's Harry's surname, for example, is Callahan. Um, and I'm just I'm going through just looking for stuff that 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 just jumps out. I'm not looking. I'm not spending very long on these at all. But some of these, I'm I'm just going to know. Um, Eldest of the Three Musketeers, I don't know. I'll probably get the three names later, though. Um, Arab City, whose name is an anagram of Arabs, is Basra. Uh, Kirk's partner in a groundbreaking 1968 interracial kiss. I was watching Nichelle Nichols. Uh, talk about that kiss on an interview on YouTube yesterday. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, just uh, keep going through. Um, Mattel subsidiary, they got it starting model trains. Meh, no idea. All right, we got three clues in that in that first pass. Not great. Band member with a long neck. A guitar? Oh no, it's probably something probably something in an orchestra or something. Ah right. Fisher's probably ends in S. And I'm going I'm just jumping around the thing here, just just uh skimming through the list of clues very quickly. Uh skill tested by Zena cards, that's ESP. That's those. Uh, that's the one with the star and the wavy lines and the circle, the square, the triangle, and there might be a sixth one. Uh, verb with vu. Is that like something like etra or something? I don't know what Hobbes' favorite food is. Sorry to all Calvin and Hobbes fans. I zoomed in um, the crossword a little bit just to make it bigger on the screen. Unfortunately, that does mean there's a little bit of scroll. In the thing, I'm gonna. I'll try not to touch the scroll wheel. I've just locked it so that it's gonna take some force, and, and hopefully it won't roll around like it has been, um, annoyingly. 
Um, moon, moons of, of, of Uranus are named after Shakespearean characters, I think, in A Midsummer Night's Dream or something. Um, I've got a feeling there are two moons of Uranus called Ariel and Umbriel, so I'm going to try Umbriel. No, that doesn't even fit, and it's not Ariel. Uh, so it's not that. Um, part of GPS abbreviation, so it's, glo it's an abbreviation for global or positioning or satellite. So let's try posse. Uh, it could be sat, I suppose. Huh, okay. Well, we uh, need to go a little, uh, obviously a little uh, more thorough on the next pass. Uh, I don't know what that clue is. Isn't that something like um, Perry Gilpin? I've got a feeling it's Perry. Um, which means shopping lines is going to be an APC, which is what the um, Americans call the, the barcode. Uh, have a bug, maybe. Could be ale. Um, Aoki of the World Golf Hall of Fame. I think I've seen this in crosswords before, and I think I know what it is. But I'm going to wait until I've got some crosses to confirm it. Uh, smother a sound could be muffle. A rice dish cooked in broth. Is that pilaf? Perhaps we would call it pilau, I suppose, but Americans call it pilaf. Uh, that looks good for collision there because that can be impact. Band member with a long neck. Just look as though it is guitar. Well, pencil it in. On fire, a flame. Looking good. That will mean supermarket chain will be IGA. Never heard of that. Um, Barely, A-T-A blank. I don't know. Uh, sleeveless undergarment for short. Is that a, is that a cami? I think it is. Um, penetrating. Um, no idea. Uh, looks like setting sun is... No. Unless it's falling down or something. No, that doesn't fit for a setting sun. Uh, okay, one in the pipeline. Question mark. No idea. In succession, don't know. Carried out biblically. No idea. Um, top three finishes and horse and total earnings in horse racing. Would that be stats? Those would be stats in horse racing. I've no idea when Patriots Day is. I'm sorry, Americans, no idea. How the careful think, I'm not sure, but it's probably ends in L Y. Uh, mop and well, I would say mop and bucket. I obviously is is not that. Oh, it takes too much. Briefly, it's probably ODs uh, since it's only three letters. There's not a whole lot of words that would fit in there. So uh, I don't know that any tributaries at the Sen. Uh, sergeants and corporals would be are they NCOs? Let's pencil that in. No idea about cracker jack prizes. Don't know what that South African drama is. Suit in a Spanish card deck. I am not going to. I'm not going to get anything with that. Um, eldest of three musketeers. It's it's Aramis, Porthos, and Athos, I think, and that's the only one five letters. So let's hope it's that. And I haven't misremembered or mixed it up with something else. Uh, Mrs. in Madrid, Senora. Uh, we were even. We can pen that one in, Senora. Um, scold, for example, could be burn, but I don't know, is a scold just a burn? Yes, it is. It is a burn. But I'm not sure about that. Um, Middays, surely it's got to be noons, which means that word is probably wrong. Anatomical danglers. Uh, no idea. Uh, anatomical mast could be a um, cyst. I I'm probably only 
thinking cyst because it's come up in the previous week's puzzle. Um, CIO partner. Isn't there something called the AFL CIO? I don't know. Oh, it's a, it could be CTO, I suppose. Um, it could be a rank thing. I think I think there's something called an AFL CIO. I've no idea what it is, but the abbreviation is in my head. 1971 top 20 hit with no English lyrics. Um, no, it's not La Bomba. Obviously, that's the only thing I can think of that was in. Well, maybe some crosses will get us there. Uh, he died at Xanadu. Is, that, uh, is this in the poem or in the some film or is it an actual place called Xanadu? No, I'm thinking, no, there wasn't a real estate called Xanadu because what I'm thinking of is Citizen Kane because Charles Foster Kane's place was called Xanadu, but that's not a real place. That's based on William Randolph Hearst and his place was Hearst Castle in California. And none of that is in any way relevant to giving me an answer. Um, simple wind instruments probably ends in an S, but off the top of my head, I I don't know. Uh, bidding, no idea. Bad wheel of fortune by force. Suspicious activity. So this would be um, like a letter that wasn't in the answer, like an E. So maybe it's an E. Maybe that is literally the answer. Oh no, that you don't buy. You buy vowels. Oh no, you do buy vowels. So that's the, that's those are the only ones you buy. You just guess. So it has to be a vowel. Um, suspicious activity. There's an A in it. There's an O, an I, and a U. An E is the only vowel that isn't in that. So it's got to be an E. Um, key presenters. Is that like when you get a key to the city? I guess it would be mares if that was the case. Um, Syrian ruling family, no idea. Um, a bit of dental repairs, this would be like a crown or something, I don't know. At hand, could be near. Some old PCs, hmm. Gotta end in an S because it's plural, probably. Um, I wonder if it's like something like CBMs. Probably not. It could be IBMs. I don't know why I went to Commodore and not IBM. A creepy look could be a Leah. Um, I don't know about old Fords. <clears throat> Excuse me. A checkup sounds well. If that's a doctor's checkup, it would be ours. As in, say, are the confessions of somebody turned a 1967 Pulitzer winning novel. Not a clue. Hmm, okay, right. See what we can get in the horizontals. Without warranty, it's probably as is. I see now why I didn't uh, make the screen bigger, by the way. It's because some of these long clues make the screen jump vertically. That's a little annoying. Uh, rolls out the green carpet. That could be um, like lace turf, so it could be sods. Maybe. Um, most balanced. That's usually ends in an est. Whoops. We want pencil with that. I wish there, well, I wish there was a keyboard shortcut for uh, switching between pen and pencil, but if there is, I don't know it. I'm pretty certain that this gets No, I don't know. Let's, get, let's do that on the next pass. Um, curriculum component. No idea. Um, Ace Detective has the early lead. Oh yeah, early lead, right. So a, a, a detective would, uh, detectives collect leads. Um, that kind of works. That's our first theme uh, clue then. Um, the title is titular scholar letter, wasn't that a red A? Um, I don't know what Pennsylvania NLers even means, let alone uh, anything uh, else. 
Uh, I, no, I was gonna I was gonna skip that back to the downs there and, and see, but uh, not no, not quite. Um, looks like setting sun is fading fast. No, uh, it helps if I actually fill out the things properly. I don't know what Perina is. Uh, wolf down. Um, can't get that one. It's Pariah something. No idea. Ink containers for squids. I, I would think that would be like, um, aren't they like ink sacks? Like sacks, maybe. Public venues. Um, Fora, uh, maybe. Um, the prefix for sleep. No, I, I should know what that is, but like I can't think what it might be. Uh, some peers could be barons. Uh, fixate up on could be obsess. Uh, New Zealand neighbor, uh, probably Ost. Since uh, since the clue is an abbreviation or a shortening, then the answer has to be. That's the rule. Sound you can't make in your sleep. Is that like a chew? Can you not sneeze in your sleep? Looks like it's possible. A maven is a guru. They tend to brood. Is that like hens? Hens brood, don't they? Um, Tara's owner, is that O'Hara from Gone with the Wind? Um, Lakal of Ada and Enid, they're in Oklahoma, because those appear in crosswords frequently. A child's medicine dose, often um, a teaspoon. Uh, essential amino acid. Now, I don't know my chemistry much, but isn't there something like, um, isn't there something like lysine or is that, um, is that an enzyme? I remember it from Jurassic Park. I don't know if it's an amino, amino acid though. Uh, leafy vegetable could be kale. I mean, could be, there's probably numerous four letter leafy vegetables, but just to have something in there, it might help. Uh, feedback grain is probably oat. Calculator that doesn't shut off. No idea. Show one's disapproval. No, no idea. Remedy for a 59 down. If that's burn, and it looks as though it might be because we've got Obsessed Guru and O'Hara all connect um, to it, that could be something like Aloe. Uh, it only comes to mind because it's a very, very common crossword uh, entry. The little blue pill, looking at the things, I don't know this, but I th it looks as though it could be Viagra. It does fit, if near and mares are right. Okay, uh, let's see. We're starting to fill this thing out. We're about only, uh, we're not even 20 minutes in yet. So we're looking quite good. I'm pretty sure that's Perry, so I'm gonna pen that in. That's gonna be Ale. Um, bye for now is probably See You. And yeah, I thought that was Isao Aoki, and it looks as though it is. Uh, regulations are regular standards. Um, 
I still don't know about IGA there, but that's definitely Muffle. That's definitely PLF. A barely is a tad. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, penetrating would be trenchant, I suppose. And pretty certain then that that must be a G, even though I've never heard of IGA as a supermarket. Um, one in the pipeline. No idea. Um, in succession, one... I was going to say uh, one at a time, but that's obviously a much longer answer than uh, would accommodate that. Um, uh, carried out biblically, didst. Um, okay, so Patriot's Day month. Uh, it could be February. Um, May, June, July, Org, Sep. It could be Sep. Uh, Oct, Nov, Deck. It could be Deck. Okay, so we've got three options there, and none of them have a letter in common that we can absolutely say Feb, Sep, or Deck. Uh, which means 18 across begins with an F, or it begins with an S, or it begins with a D. Um, most balanced. Oh, steadiest. Which means that's set. That was a good bit of uh, deduction there. Uh, quite proud of that. One's having a rough spell. No idea. Oh, how the careful think. Is that going to be twice? I don't know about this 26 across at all. I can't tell whether this is right or wrong. Dennis, who front of the 1960s to 70s classics for would have to be Yost. I think the careful think twice. I'm pretty sure about that now. Um, okay. Don't know about the poet. No idea. Don't know. Crackerjack prizes that leave a mark. Still don't know what Crackerjack is. Oh, it's often at the end of a bottleneck is a cork. Uh, never going to get that Spanish uh, card suit, I don't think. Um, oh, unless it's... Oh, what's the Spanish for diamond? No, I, I, I'm not going to waste... I, that's like, that is not in my head. I'm sure it isn't. Uh, an Intel mission probably is recon. See, race segment, I would think, would be a lap, but that doesn't fit with obsess there, so it's possible obsess is wrong. Um, I shouldn't get too attached to that answer, I think. Base brass. Don't even understand the clue there. Oh, Foxtrot procedures, probably echo. Yes, a phonetic alphabet, E and F. Uh, oh, reached is uh, got to to reach a place to get there. Mm, this is though we're getting a little stuck in the bottom right. If anything is going to be the last part of this puzzle to fall, it's going to be the bottom right, I think, since we have very few uh, answers in there at all and none that are uh, certain. A thick wall pot. Um, is that going to be some some culinary term, maybe? Uh, VW Forerunners is probably... We're going to have another alphabet clue here, aren't we? It's going to be R-S-T-U-V-W. Rushes could be something like zips. Um, but then that would be, no, that can't be right. Something TPS can't be right. Yeah. 
here. Okay, so uh, I think posi here for positioning is can't be right. I think it's going to be sat, especially since 97 down is a plural clue, so it's probably going to end in an S. Brink, um, verge, could be verge. Uh, uh, on the brink of something, on the verge of something. Um, I guess old Fords, that has to end in an S. Okay. Curriculum component. Uh, unit. Okay, what does that put us here? One in the pipeline. Surfer. In succession. Oh, we're still missing quite a few there. Um, but I am pretty certain now of sods. I'm pretty certain of unit. And uh, stats, for that matter, is must be right. Um, uh, fish is probably cleft. Mop and GL something, no idea. Perina product one. There's a pet food called Alpo. I wonder if it's that. Um, associate. Oh, I, I read that as associate the verb. It's associate the uh, noun and its cohort. And that is one after the other. Great, there's a lot of crosses just fell there. All alternative, E-R-A. Um, I don't understand that. Uh, pretty certain there. Barons is right. Oh, abbreviation after many a many a general ne general's name retired. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, chiropractor heads into the back stretch. That's a good pun. It looks as though you can't sneeze in your sleep. Um, that is guru. Um, hens, I guess, do brood and recon. And I think it's Athos. Maybe it's, maybe I'm wrong with the A there. I don't understand all alternative era. I I I don't. Those are not synonymous to me. Not I I I don't have a read on that that makes them synonymous. Maybe I'm misunderstanding something. Um. Now carrier pigeon takes the turn for something, possibly. It looks as though it is turn, I'm not sure about for, but I don't know what term that is gonna uh, end up being. I'm pretty sure about teaspoon being a child's medicine uh, dose there. To tax could be to try. If something is taxing, I guess it's trying, as in difficult. Oh, temporary, uh, Tattoos. And I don't know why I put satellite there. Because GPS is not global positioning satellites, global positioning system. That has to end in an S. That's gotta be temp or whoops, temp or airy tattoos. There we go. Uh, let's jump back up here and get these crosses. Um It's pariah on the outside. <laughs> um, tool made to scale. Is that to measure weight or to... Um, oh, to, to, to climb, ice axe. To scale. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, sleep. Uh, somno. Yes, of course. Um, 
the send tributary uh, on 35 down, that must be the was. Uh, that's going to be Somno. I'm not sure about the O, but it could be Somni. So let's put that there. Oh, hang on. No, uh, one's having a rough spell. Um, dyslexics. Um, right. Uh, that does definitely look like Obsess, even though we weren't sure about it. Um, but I think we may have filled out the clue that we were... Well, all right, let's just, let's just keep going. Um, uh, pretty certain about O'Hara. Uh, do do. Um, calculator that doesn't shut off. Oh, an abacus. Of course. Um, Sean's disapproval. Mm, no idea. I don't know any skew results in the Rockies. Not that I know of anyway. Um, right, this bottom right is still going to be difficult. Oh, the Moon of Uranus, I'm pretty certain, with ERO in there, if they're right, we can't pen it in, but let's just pencil it. Uh, it's going to be Oberon. Yes, Oberon and um, Titania, I think. I still don't know where Luang Prabang is. With the O in there, maybe it's in Laos. But that's a wild guess. Sounds like it's somewhere in uh, uh, sort of South Asia, right? I think. Uh, stationary at rest. Uh, looks as though we're getting somewhere with that, uh, that bottom center section there. Um... This is going to be difficult because I don't know one down and I don't know 25 across. Um, I don't understand either of those. So that last square, that square may be the one that's, that remains after all the rest are filled in. It looks as though Poe uh, was uh, wrote Annabelle Lee. A pageant accessory, is that going to be a sash? Try it. I still like the idea of lap there, but you, if that can't be, if that's burn, which it is, then that can't be obsat anything. So that means it can't be lap. So I don't know what the race segment would be. Be the oh, it could be leg. There we go. No idea about that one. Uh, let's assume that ends in an S and put that in there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this this section here. Problematic. Uh, oh, it looks as though um, 75 across. Now Carrier Pigeon takes the turn for home, maybe? Is that something that you would hear in a horse race? Maybe. Hmm. No idea about that top 20 hit there. Pretty certain about RSTU because that makes a lot of sense. Rushes. Um, no. Bidding behest. Apothecary items could be vials. Lifelines are a bit pretty certain about these now. They all intersect very well. The Confessions of Nat Turner. 
<clears throat> okay, I think that's come up before, but I can remember it. I'm pretty sure that they are going to be sex there. Um, public venues, pretty certain about four are there. I guess a Spanish card deck, Oros. Is that diamonds, maybe? Um, I think it is. All alternative era. I, I don't, I don't understand that. Uh, part of a Derby Garland. Rose, maybe? I don't know what a Derby Garland is, but they put flowers in, right? Uh, rag. Oh, a cloth. I was reading that as um, the verb to, to rag for some reason. I was looking for something that was not complain or uh, insult. Um, yeah, obsess is right, definitely. I'm pretty certain about Ost. Uh, no, no, I'll just leave that in pencil for now. There's no, uh, no reason to be more, more certain than that. Uh, spelling practice. Now that's going to be, that's not going to be about spelling as in alphabetical stuff, because the question mark means, um, that's going to, oh, it's going to be voodoo. There we go. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was clearly going to be more about magic or some other interpretation of the mean, meaning of the word spelling, um, than anything you would do in school. Words after tough row or row? No idea. I think that's Fouzettes rather than Vousetre. I don't know any French, really. Um, I did do it in school for two years, but uh, I remember very, very little about it. Uh, Amex card, something. That's probably going to be something about refuses or it's refused or something. Horses refuse, right, don't they? Uh, show one's disapproval. If that begins with a V, I have no idea. E pluribus unum will be uh, in the money, on the money. That is a motto that appears on money, so it's definitely the money. Uh, and I would say that's in or on. On the money? See, you would say it was more on the money if you're talking about the money, but as a, as a thing you would say, you'd say... I, I think you would say in the money. Uh, I, I think you would say, yeah, yeah so they're, they're, they're in the money, right? They're not they're on the money, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, Oberon, that's definitely right. Let's see. Uh, the winner is Inseam by, uh, uh, Stret? No, that's not going to fit. By a letter, but Inseam. Okay, by a, I, I don't know. Um, this all intersects really well, so I'm pretty sure that a little blue pill is Viagra. Noted Moscow opening of 1990. Don't know what that could be. And I don't know who's hit 600 home runs. I couldn't name a single. Is that even baseball? I'm not even certain that it's baseball. That's definitely Sash. Uh, that's probably, oh, actual is de facto, isn't it? Yeah. That's lag, yep. Base brass. Base brass. I, no, I don't understand the clue. Uh, oh, ask me. Pretty certain about noons. Um, no, because we, because Kale in here is probably wrong. Um, yeah, I don't know what that bagel shop amount could be. Um, 
Okay, let's see. Thick walled pot. Um, no, no idea. And I don't know what this uh, this top twenty hit is from the letters that we know we have. I, I I'm pretty sure I don't know it. Russia's highs. Yes, I think that is high. That's like that means to rush, doesn't it? High. This is an old, oldy, fashioned -y kind of way to say it. But he died at Xanadu. It is. I just. I can't believe that I went through a whole thing of saying what Xanadu that Xanadu was in Citizen Kane without putting two and two together and realizing that that's what it's talking about. I apologize for being an idiot. Okay, we're getting somewhere. It'd be great to get 64 across in, in there somewhere and then be able to get some downs there, maybe. That is an, an E. Uh, that is Mares. Syrian ruling family. I will probably know if I saw the answer, but is that going to be something like a... Uh, uh, an inlay? Is that something that happens to teeth, maybe. Long on Lanai. I, wherever that place is, it's going to be the word for long in the language that they speak there. But I've never heard of the place, so that's not useful. Okay, 64 across. Um, here's where Mississippi Delta often gains ground. There we go, because the Mississippi Delta is expanding, right? I think. Okay, I don't know why we're going for the acrosses. Let's we've we've just gained some things we can go for. Right, so anatomical danglers, uvulas, probably not sure about the A. Um anatomical mass, is that gonna be a nose, node? And a bagel shop amount. I no idea. Oh a dozen. A, a, a does. Um so is that an invasive southern plant? Is that... Um, no. I, uh, all right, what's, what's kudzu? Yes, there we go. Um, yes, it is. That, that, that's what it is. Uh, so I think we are on node there. It looks like the kale might be right. That's interesting. Um, so we had to look one one thing up there already, but we're, we're, we're doing pretty well. Normally we uh, have to resort to Wikipedia much earlier than that. Thick walled pot. If we can't get that, then just gaining that little corner there doesn't help us a great deal. I don't know what Ollie's partner on all children's, children's TV is, and I'm not going to get that without looking it up. Hobbs's favorite food, if that is an A, it's probably tuna. Um, I don't know who the skater Babylonia. I'm not gonna know who that is. Amex card makes a, I don't know. Um, Um, is that the Assads, maybe? Uh, Hershey brand, don't know brands. River Islands, maybe, but that, nothing comes to mind. Um, Moscow opening of 1990, the M, that could be wrong, IBM could be wrong. Hmm. 
No, no idea. Uh, member of the 600 Home Run Club. If that is SS, is there someone called... There is. Uh, someone called Sammy Sosa. Um, home Runs, Home Runs. 609, okay, Sosa. Uh, how do I know that? Um, I don't know about the Mattel subsidiary there. I still... Uh, pff, all right. Let's see. That's definitely Ost. Base brass has got to be is, apparently is bugle. Okay. Um. Right. Ollie's partner on old children's TV. Is that? We're gonna have to look that one up. Kukla. Really? Apparently. Uh, so, um, it's an old puppet TV show from 1947 to 1957. Um, it did not have a script and was entirely ad-libbed. Sounds quite good. Kukla. Oops. Kukla. Uh, that is Kale. That's that. Um, Rocky Ski Results. Oh, I have no idea. Still. Um... I wish I could fight, figure this one out. This long one here would give us so many crosses. Thick walled pot. Now, with, uh, okay, so that would be a, a pot you would find in the kitchen. Could be a pot you would put plants in. Um, okay, so, a, um, right. So, a casserole dish, a, a crock pot. I... I don't know. I'm trying to loosen something up with a, a bit of a brainstorm there, but didn't really get far. We were doing so well. Uh, and now we've kind of stalled. Uh, pretty certain about turn for home. Lysine, if that turns out that that was just lysine off the top of my head, um, that was an incredible fluke. Because I don't know if that was an enzyme, an amino acid, or what. All I remembered is that there was some bit of chemistry in Jurassic Park, the novel. Um, I think we're wrong somewhere as well. Some, some of these don't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, South African drama that made uh, the one best foreign film Oscar. Sotsi? Sotsi? I just want to check that uh, before I pen in the one remaining letter. Yep. Looks that way. Um, so I'm pretty sure about Rose and Rose are there. They make a lot of sense as answers. Uh, pretty something about highs. AFL. I think, oh yay, what is this? Okay, show one's disapproval. Um, well, that has to end in a, a vowel because there's not going to be um, three consecutive consonants in 76 down. Um, but what vowel? Um, and, and how does that, I think this is, I think the vials might be wrong. All right, the ones we're relatively sure of, aloe. I guess an inlay is probably right. And if that's right, then louse is right. If the A is right, then, all right. So if that was not louse, luang prabang. The, the louse is the only thing that I can think that it would be, but let's uh, look that up. Yeah, okay, so it's the capital city of the province of the same name in North Central Laos. Not lose Laos. So, um... So say that was on the money. 
Um, that doesn't really, I don't know what an apothecary could have that ends in OALS, but they could definitely have vials. We didn't really get far in that corner, did we? Right, we we got to find something down here. Let's see what we can look up. Um, Twelfth Night Woman, probably too vague. Um, NFL Coach Carol, we can probably get. Um, so that might be Pete Carroll. That's an obscure clue for a very common name. Come on, there's going to be something else we can look up here. Let's go for Babylonia. Ty, apparently. A former pair skater. So that would be... Uh, Rocky Ski Resort is apparently Vale. Okay, doesn't unlock anything else, though. We don't know that this is IBM's. Could be something else. Um... We don't know for certain that that's Assad's, but let's look that up. Yeah, okay, so they've held political power in Syria since 1970, the Al-Assad's. So that means we can pen that in. Um, comics, oh no. Um, that's, I can't think of um, some, something that, that would appear in comics that would be like a comic -y version of that. Hmm. We've, we've got to look something else up. Okay, Hershey Brands. Let's look up um, the Hershey Company and look at their brands. I think we can find such a thing. Uh, list of products. Wow, okay, this is going to be a long list. Whew. Uh, okay, it's with four letters starting with an S. Uh, there's one called SCORE. S-K-O-R. It's buried way in deep in this list. It doesn't look as though it's one of their big things, but maybe. No, that could be eek then. Oh no. Um, makes a no. That can't be makes a e anything. That can't be right. That'd be makes an if the word was bigger than e. All right, we've got, to, we've got to crack this thing. I really want to bring it in under an hour, and we have um, about eight and a half minutes to get there. What do we still have that we could feasibly look up on uh, Wikipedia? A Mattel subsidiary. Yes. Um, uh, let's just join Mattel subsidi subsidiaries. I can't type. No, I don't want to... No, go away. I don't want to download Flash, for goodness sake. Um, go away. Um, yeah, I don't... Let's just... Uh, let's, we'll find it on Wikipedia. Should have gone there in the first place. History. So, uh, oh, it'll be Tycho, won't it? Yes, Tycho. River Islands, that's... Is that eight? That, I've never heard of an eight, A-I-I-A-I-T. It, wow, it is. It's an islet uh, or little isle in a river or lake. Um, I've never, ever heard that word in my life, but that's a good one. 
Ah, right, okay. Um, Moscow opening of 1990 McDonald's. I think. Uh, creepy look was not Leah. Uh, it might be something like um, Ogle. Uh, still no characters in Twelfth Night. Uh, simple uh, wind instruments. Ocarinas. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, is there someone called something like Viola in Twelfth Night? Maybe. Uh, let's hope so. Oh, a Dutch oven, a thick wall pot. Jeez. Okay. I was nearly there. Um, the winner is inseam by a length. Obvious now. Right. Okay. So, uh, right. Arax card makes a charge. Uh, evidence of one's bringing one's accent. Um, uh, record number is going to be a song. Uh, ACK, score, yes. Old Fords, LTDs, maybe uh, ours. I don't know about the L there, but uh, his or her to Henri, uh, says maybe. Um, that leaves us with two squares uh, to uh, to complete. Pennsylvania NLers. What is Pennsylvania NL? Is that uh, going to be a sports team thing? Might be. Um, Deseret today. What's that? Um, oh, it's Utah. Um, which means that is not APC. I was wrong with that. It's UPC. And that's Phil's. Uh, and then whatever's going on here and here. Show one's disapproval. Okay, let's check if inlay is a bit of dental repair. Um, yep, a filling. Okay, so we're certain about that. Oh, yay, something. Oh, yay, como va? Apparently. By Tito Puente in 1963. Uh, so that's, that's, oh, oh, yay, como va? So, but something somewhere is wrong. So that's wrong, or this is wrong, or, or one of these is wrong. Show one's disapproval. I That's going to be vote no. There we go. Only, apparently. 54.45, our best um, time on the Sunday puzzle. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. All right, I'm going to throw this up after a quick edit, so it's up on the day that the puzzle is out. I don't know if anyone actually watches these videos. I'm really just doing them for fun. I'm going to try a new voice equalizer preset this time. Um, let me know if I sound any better than I did before. I think um, if it works, I will sound a little less boomy. Let's see. By the way, I am still working on other videos. It's not just these crosswords, even though that's the only thing that's gone up in several weeks. I'm building up backlogs of Might and Magic, uh, something you can get for free, and I'm working really hard on the new Retro Histories, which is going to be all about Chris Roberts and the Wing Commander series. Those will all be going up over the course of the next few months, and I hope to get a schedule soon with a couple, at least, of weekly releases. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Sunday for another New York Times crossword.